Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you watched my other video on Squarespace SEO and you have done the basics to optimize your site, this is a follow-up video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a simple method for how I ranked number one, both on YouTube and Google for keywords that were highly relevant to my business. But if this is your first time here, I do want to introduce myself. My name is David. I have built over 150 Squarespace websites and probably touched around a thousand websites with optimization, customization, and everything in between. Now let's chat. In the previous video, you would have seen some basic ways to optimize SEO. That's what we call technical SEO. So you've done that part, great. Anytime you add content, you wanna review that video, use those same methods to optimize the back end of your website. And maybe you just finished that work earlier today or you did that work a few months ago. This video is gonna help you take the next step. And that next step is this, establishing authority. And when it comes to establishing authority, I'm going to cover two core concepts that are so powerful and simple for you to implement. The first one being bringing value and the second one, earning attention. Now, those may sound like big ideas, but stick with me to the end of the video and you're going to get some good value from the content. As always, there are timestamps below to help you skip around to save you time if you already know what you're looking for. OK, so let's talk about the first part, bringing value. At the end of the day, you could try to optimize SEO in every way possible, but if you're just trying to hack an algorithm, you will never win. At the end of the day, you need to bring value. Google is optimized so good and so well at understanding where value comes from and making sure that kind of content shows up at the top of search results. They understand value. They understand value by hundreds of metrics that they use to track a user experience, how long they spend on the site, where they're located, if they take action on the website. Google is one of the most sophisticated tools, search engines on the planet that understands people's experience through search and if they're finding what they're looking for. So this is a fundamental starting point. If you want to show up at the top of Google, start by thinking, how do I bring the most value? Even if you are truly better than your competitor, I've gotten a lot of calls and messages from people who say my competitor shows up ahead of me on search, but my service or product is better than theirs. At the end of the day, we want to make sure that your site gets optimized and that you bring value through your website. Now, that's a key point here. You bring value through your website to the potential customer, client, whoever that might be. Part two of this video is about earning attention. You are in the process of bringing value to your customer or client. A great way to do this is beyond your service pages, beyond your homepage, beyond your about page. All of those are important and make sure those are optimized. But beyond that, blog posts that address and identify specific issues that they have is the first and foremost way to start bringing value to your potential customers. Now, before you throw up your hands and say, I'm never going to do this because blogging sounds crazy or writing posts sounds hard or whatever that might be, I have a few tools for you and I'm going to walk you through the process. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm going to walk you through the process of how we optimize for two searches that were super relevant for the business and at the same time were really easy for us to do. So let's lay the foundation. First, you need to know what you're optimizing for. If you're optimizing for YouTube search, that's different than Google search, that's different than Yelp, that's different than Etsy, that's different than Maps. And even if you're optimizing for Google.com, you need to understand specifically what you're optimizing for, because if you're optimizing for a search like dentist near me, that search is actually inundated with multiple levels of Google products that you need to understand. I have a separate video I'll link down in the description below that talks about how to understand search results for whatever type of business you are. Because if you're optimizing for a near me search, you actually want to optimize your Google business profile, which used to be called Google My Business, your Google business profile first. If you optimize your website, that's great. But most likely, if a map shows up with results underneath it, that is a Google business profile. So start there. If you're optimizing for YouTube, you want to understand that you're optimizing for YouTube. 
If you're optimizing for Yelp, you want to understand that you're optimizing for that specific platform first. Okay, so once you know that, you can go to step two. So now we want to use tools to help us optimize for that specific platform. And here's the basic principle here. Do the specific search that you want to show up for, see what's ranking well, and then investigate what they're doing. You don't want to copy, you're not going to copy and paste what they wrote or what they did, but they're ranking well for a reason. And so you want to understand what that reason is. So if you're trying to optimize for Google, type in the search that you want to show up for, open up all those links, the top 10 links, let's say, in new tabs. From there, go into each page, look at the title of the article, look at the subheadings, look at the length of the article, and get a feel for what's happening on those 10 pages. Now, there are tools, which I'll link one down below as well. It's a little bit pricey, but it's definitely worth checking out tools that you could use that will do this all for you. All you do is put in the keyword you want to show up for. And from there, it'll give you a general sense of the length of the article, the subheadings of the article and all of that. From there, big note, big, big note. You create your own content where you bring your own value based on those overarching ideas. Now, if you're not big on writing, there are a ton of services out there that will help you write the content. But now you know exactly what to write for. And that is a key element here. You don't just want to write for fun. You want to write something that is SEO graded, that is an A plus in Google's eyes. Those top 10 articles are an A plus in Google's eyes. So anything they're doing is highly relevant to what is working. And that brings us to step three, which I already mentioned a bit, but I just want to be very clear about. Step three is write this from your perspective from your business vantage point and from your own experience. Trust me when I say that everyone has their own valuable information they could bring to the table. Even if something's been written about a thousand times, you could think maybe something as simple as coffee has been written about so many times. I have nothing new to add. You probably do. And so write around those topics, those subheadings and add your own twist, flavor and personal stories to the content that can be useful for the person who searches specifically for that search and really try to position yourself in the seat of the person doing the search from their vantage point. How do you deliver value to them? For us, we publish an ebook. This is the exact method I used to rank number one, sometimes number two or number three, but often number one for Squarespace SEO ebook. Also, if you go to YouTube as of right now and you type in Squarespace SEO, our video comes up as number one. Both of those pieces of content I made understanding what the market is already doing and then adding my personal flair to it. It really wasn't that complicated. But at the end of the day, going back to step one, understand that you want to bring value and that's how you earn attention. So this formula here is really simple often is overlooked, but is so powerful if it's done right. Thank you for watching today's video. If you want any more resources around this, make sure to check out our website. We have a ton of valuable resources there, guides, free guides for you to optimize your site and your content so you could show up higher on Google and grow your business. With that, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. It tells the YouTube algorithm some important information, but it also lets me know that you got value from today's content. Also, consider subscribing. If you're looking for more content like this, we publish new videos every single week to help you grow your business and stay ahead of the curve. If you have any questions, drop your comments below. I respond to all comments. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.